Now, Ngano is like this this unstoppable force, and he was made for marketing. I mean, this this guy is made to go on a poster, right? He looks like he's carved out of clay. Exciting style, big power in his hands. The reality, reality is he's still an up-and-comer, and a lot of it was hype. And it was fun, and it was a great moment, but a lot of it was hype. So when he gets stuck in the Stipe situation, and he realizes, wow, I'm not invincible. I'm a guy, and I got some good attributes, but I'm, I'm just a guy. He goes into the Engano fight, and it was so clear that he was just afraid to engage. And we see that a lot. We usually see it in the boxing world when a guy takes a knockout. A knockout specifically, right? He never comes back the same. He's now worried about that. They say his chin's not the same. I don't know if I agree with that from a physiological standpoint as much as just mentally you're worried of it all the time. And it really, I thought it was really clear that Ngannou, uh, you know, was having some fears. That he was thinking, I don't want to engage. I don't want to lose another fight. I don't want to get taken down or held down. I thought that... We saw that in the fight, but I thought that when he came out after the fact and said, guys, I was dealing with a fear, I thought that was a positive sign. And I'll tell you why. Anytime you're having a, a kind of a mental block like that, if you can say it aloud, you can take a lot of its power away. I thought it was very mature that Ngano did that. And I thought as far as the road to recovery went, right, it's a lot like being an alcoholic. The first step to recovery is admitting that you have a problem. I thought that Ngano did that. I thought that was a positive. Um, I look forward to seeing his next fight. I look forward to seeing where he goes, and, and not necessarily because it's, it's going to be up. I think he's got the potential to go up. I think he's got the... How am I going to eat this? I'm going to need a fork and a knife. I think he has the uh, potential to go up, uh, but he's got the potential to go down too, right? If you can't overcome some of those fears and step in and engage and let it just hang out and live with the result, you could have some real problems moving forward. I will tell you, though, right off the cuff, I took the fact that he was open and admitted to this, acknowledged what the problem was as the first step to addressing the problem. I took it as a positive. 